Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are enjoying House Watch and Review Week here on my channel. I have another video for you guys and today's video is going to be Glam Polish. Now Glam Polish came out with the Ready Set Go collection a couple of weeks ago and as you guys may guess, it's based off of Mario. So it's actually based off of Super Mario Kart, not Super Mario, but I'm a Mario fan, just period. Some of you may or may not know this, but I actually had a Super Mario themed wedding. My husband and I absolutely love the game Super Mario and any variation of it. We've played it on different platforms. We've played Super Mario Kart, Super Mario World. We've played anything associated with Super Mario, I'm a huge fan of. So I was really, really excited when Glam Polish came out with this Super Mario Kart collection called Ready, Set, Go. I was so excited that I was actually on a no buy when this collection came out and it was the only thing I allowed myself to purchase during that entire month was this collection. So there's 12 polishes in the collection and each one is inspired by a different character in Super Mario Kart. I really do enjoy the Glam Polish formula. Most of the polishes I have from them are glitters. I believe that they specialize in glitters. I haven't seen them put out any cream polishes at all. But for the most part, all of these polishes apply apply themselves. It's really, really easy to work with. The brush is really long, and normally I don't I prefer like shorter, wider brushes, but even though it's a long brush, it's still really easy to work with. The stem easily picks up and distribute or the brush easily picks up and distributes the nail polish. So I'm sorry I keep looking over here. I have all of my polishes um over here. So go let's go ahead and get started with the very first polish in the collection is called Mario Time. And this one is inspired by Super Mario. And it's a silver holographic glitter base with multiple sizes of red, white, and blue glitters. Most of them, some of them are matte and some of them are metallic. And there's also these silver star holographic glitters in there. Like I mentioned before, the Glam Polish formula is beautiful. It's easy to apply, easy to work with. This took two coats to fully build up. You do have to do a little bit of glitter manipulation with um, some of these polishes, but for the most part, um, it, I mean, it's really, really easy to move around some of those glitters. So you will need a nice top coat with most of these because they do dry down textured and a little bit gritty. So I would suggest using a thicker top coat and a glossy top coat so that that glitter and that those holographic, especially the holographic stars really stand out. The next polish in the collection is called Wario Always Wins, and this one is inspired by Wario, and it's a light, I would say it's a light gold holographic polish, but it's a little difficult to tell um, what the base is. It could either be a very light gold or a very light silver. So this has multiple sizes of yellow, purple, hot pink, and then very small, and not necessarily mi micro, but very, very small white round glitters in there. Again, the formula was really easy to work with, pretty much the polish applied itself. It does dry down a uh, gritty like the previous polish, so you will need a thicker top coat. I feel like they hit it perfectly with the color combination on all of these polishes. It's really easy to tell what which which polish is inspired by which characters just based on the color combination if you are a fan of Super Mario. The next polish is probably one of my favorites and it's called Watch Out and this one is inspired by Yoshi. And this is like a very light green holographic base with orange, lime green, white, and red glitters in there. And there's multiple sizes of all of these glitters. And not only do I like this because Yoshi is one of my fair, favorite characters in Super Mario, but I really like the, the color combination of this. I like green polishes, as you guys can tell, I'm wearing a green polish in this video, but I also like the orange and um, orange and green combination. So the formula, again, on this one was great. Two coats to be fully opaque, and it does dry down gritty, so again, you are gonna need a thicker, glossy top coat. The next polish in the collection is called Yeah Baby, and this one is inspired by Lemmy Koopa. And this is a light, goldish, silver holographic base with multiple colors and multiple sizes of glitters. So there's orange, pink, peach, yellow, blue, purple, light purple. There's every color of the rainbow in here and there's also a lot of holographic micro glitter in here. So 
Even though Lemmy Koopa is not one of my favorite characters, I really like this polish because it has a whole bunch of multicolored glitters in there. And I like wearing these types of polishes as an accent nail because they'll essentially match any nail polish color that you wear because it has all of the colors of the rainbow in here. So even though, like I said, even though Lemmy Koopa isn't my favorite, this is probably one of my favorite polishes in the collection. The next polish in the collection is called Take That Losers, and this is Donkey Kong inspired. And this is a light silver holographic base with metallic reddish orange glitters that the they, they kind of have like a holographic shift to it, and then multiple sizes of matte yellow glitters. And all of these polishes are jam-packed with glitters, so you don't have to worry about swirling your brush around to pick up any of those glitters. I didn't have these bottles sitting upside down or anything before I applied the polish, and I, I got a lot of glitter every single time I dipped the brush back into the bottle. So I really like the color combination of this, that orange and red, and I really do like the glitters in here. Like I said, those glitters, I can't really tell if they're orange or red. I, there kind of seems to be both orange and red metallic glitters in here, and I really like and I really like that they have that kind of holographic, like reflective shift to it, and they're not just plain metallic glitters. The next polish in the collection is called Peach Has Got It, and this is the Peach Inspired Polish, and this is a light silver holographic polish with multiple sizes of hot pink, peach, lavender, and white glitters in there. And those peach glitters kind of seem to have a little bit of like a neon nature to them. Normally when you're wearing neon polishes, the fluorescent nature of a neon polish when like the, there's a little bit of light outside or, or like the sun is settling, that's when you really, really see a neon polish glow. And I was wearing this polish the other day and the orange glitters in here were doing that. They were glowing in comparison to they were really glowy in comparison to the other glitters and the rest of the nail polish on my fingers. Just those little orange glitters were glowing on my nails during the sunset. So I think this is a really cool polish. I was a little worried with the peach polish in this collection because the peach colors are very delicate colors, but they managed to put enough like sparkle and bam in this in this polish with those peach neonish glitters. I really, really do like how they did that. So the next polish in the collection is called Waluigi Number no. 1, and this is a silver holographic base with multiple sizes of light blue, dark blue, light green, dark green, and white glitters. Some of these glitters are metallic glitters, like the green glitters kind of seem to have a little bit of a metallic shift to them, and so do the blue ones, but the white, the white glitters in here look like matte white glitters. This polish again took two coats to be fully opaque. The formula was really easy to work with and it, again, it does dry it down a little bit gritty so you are going to need a thicker glossy top coat and I think they did a perfect job with this polish. Luigi is one of my favorite characters from Mario and Luigi and then again, I really like green polishes and then I really like blue polishes so anything blue and green, I'm gonna really, really enjoy but Glam Polish never disappoints me with their glitters and they just did the, the Luigi color, the color combination just perfectly. So the next polish in the collection is called Waluigi Lose Impossible. And this is a silver holographic polish with multiple sizes of navy blue, dark purple, and white glitters. But most of the glitters in this polish seem to be a smaller size. They're not as big as the round glitters in all of the other polishes. There seems there seems to be a lot more micro and smaller size glitters, but there's still there's still a, a couple that are I would say like small to medium size glitters. And this is just a really cool looking polish. This one I feel is is the most heavily packed with glitters in comparison to all of the other polishes. And I think that's because it doesn't have a lot of large glitters in there. So they were able to jam pack a lot more smaller glitters in here. But it's really, really pretty. I think they did a good job with this one as well. Two coats to be fully opaque. This one didn't dry down as gritty as some of those other polishes. I think because it doesn't have a lot of those larger grit, uh, glitters, but you are still going to need a, a good top coat with this one. 
The next polish in the collection is called Wheels Up and this one is inspired by Toadette. And this is a silver holographic polish but it almost looks like it's a very light pink holographic polish with different shades of pink. So there's a very, very light baby pink, a medium pink, a hot pink and almost a red glitter in here. The darker glitters like the red glitter look like they're metallic and they have kind of that holographic shift in it that I was talking about with the earlier polish. And then the light, the light pink glitters almost look white, but I can't really tell if they're light pink or white. And then there's also some glitters in here that have a little bit of a purple shift, but they're not purple glitters, they're pink glitters that have a little bit of a purple shift. And this one's really pretty, and I feel like I'm really gonna enjoy this one for Valentine's Day. This is just essentially Valentine's Day in a bottle. It has every shade of pink in here, white and red. It's it's just a perfect, it's gonna be a perfect po polish for Valentine's Day. But again, this one was wheeled, Wheels Up, inspired by Toadette, two coats to be fully opaque, perfect formula. Again, you're gonna need a glossy top coat with this one. This polish also has these, and I, again, I'm not sure if they're white or like a light baby pink uh, star glitter in here. There's very little of them, but I actually managed to get at least once on my nail every single time I did a manicure with this polish, and I've used this polish twice already because I really like the color combination of this one. So the next polish in the collection is called We, and this one is inspired by Rosalina. So this one is a light silver holographic polish with multiple sizes of light blue, mint green, and kind of like this light tealish color slash aquamarine-ish color. And there's also white glitters in there. And then these kind of larger holographic glitters and these white and light blue, I'm not sure if it's light blue or like a mint green star glitter in there. And like I said before, the star glitters, there's not that many star glitters in here, but I do at least manage to get one star glitter on a nail every single time I do a manicure. So there's enough in here Well, hopefully you'll at least get one or two stars on your nails every single do time you do a manicure. This polish was really easy to apply. Again, two coats to be fully opaque. You may have to maneuver some of those glitters around, especially because you have those star glitters and you want those to lay completely flat on the nail. But they did a beautiful job with this polish as, as well. I'm, I really am enjoying this entire collection. The next polish in the collection is called I'll Get You Out There. And this one is inspired by Bowser. Now, this holds a special place in my heart, not just because I love Super Mario, but we used to have a pug and his name was Bowser. So every time I hear the name Bowser in in anything in, in reference to Super Mario, I think about my pug and I, I get sentimental. So I, I, I feel like this is definitely my favorite polish in the entire collection because of the name Bowser and it holds such a dear place in my heart. And this is a light gold holographic polish with or multiple sizes of orange, yellow, a light green, and kind of like a lime green glitter in here. And there seems to be like a light gold shimmer kind of running throughout the entire polish as well. And this is a beautiful polish to work with. Again, they have those like orangish, like orangish peachish glitters in here that seem to have a little bit of a neon nature to them because they do glow. I think this polish is gorgeous. Took two po two coats to be fully opaque. It's a little similar to the color combination from Watch Out. It's just a little bit lighter. So here you have Watch Out and here you have I'll get you next time. And I don't know if you guys can tell, they look very, very similar on camera, but Watch Out has a little bit more uh, like green in it. And uh, I'll get you next time is a little bit more on the yellow, on the yellow tone. But they are very similar, especially with um, the glitter colors. But like I said, there's, there's a little bit more green in Watch Out. And the last polish in the collection is called Pink Gold Peach. And this one is inspired by Pink Gold Peach. This one is like a silvery, peachy, pink holographic polish. This actually covered surprisingly well on the first coat. I was actually shocked at how opaque this was just after one coat. I did end up doing a second coat just to kind of even out any uh, lighter patches that I had on my nail and deepen up the color just a little bit, but 
I don't I don't actually don't have any other just straight holographic polishes from Glam Polish because I have so many other holographic polishes in my collection from other brands that I normally don't purchase these types of polishes from Glam Polish because they're known for their more like unique glitters and I kind of feel like this uh, formula is a little too, I don't wanna say it's not unique, but a lot of polishes out there do just a plain holographic polish with like no added glitters or no added, you know, craziness in there essentially. And I wasn't too sure about picking up this polish at first because it didn't seem like it was very unique in comparison to the polishes that, that Glam Polish typically put um, puts out. But I, I did end up just picking up the entire collection as a set. So this one was, you know, included as the set. And I don't regret getting this polish because the formula was just so smooth and easy to work with. You don't see any brush strokes. Again, these polishes easily apply themselves. It builds up fully in two coats. And it's a very, very holographic polish. This really is pink gold peach in a bottle. They did this polish perfectly. And what I thought was gonna be one of the least unique polishes in the entire collection turned out to be one of the more unique polishes in the entire collection because I have a lot of holographic polishes in my nail polish collection and the formula uh, with this one is just, it's so different. It's almost perfection. I almost wanna say this is a perfect holographic polish. I mean, really, I can't say more than just that. So that's it. That's the re entire Ready, Set, Go collection from Glam Polish. I hope you guys are enjoying Haul Swatch and Review Week. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you find this video helpful if you are interested in purchasing any of these polishers from the collection, which I highly, highly suggest that you do. If you don't invest in this collection, definitely look into Glam Polish because I really do like Glam Polish as a brand. I haven't picked up a, a, a single polish from Glam Polish that I have been disappointed in, whether it was color combination or formula or the wear or anything. I really do like Glam Polish. So if you enjoyed this video and you're enjoying Haul Swatch and Review Week, please give this video a thumbs up. Please don't forget to subscribe. I do currently post three times a week on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. It's only this week that I am posting a video every single day of the week. And hopefully I'll see you guys tomorrow with another Haul Swatch and Review. Bye.